Good evening. So today uh, actually ended up being a pretty tame day uh, for the dollar overall. And um, the reason being is because of the fact that there is uh, much news that is coming out later on this week. Um, so with that news that's coming out later on this week, the dollar has uh, paused um, before that move. And so uh, before that move, uh, we just have the dollar remaining where it ended the week last week, uh, having the support uh, of that early uh, week buy as in uh, from the weekly open and then the resistance up there at the minor quarter level of 104 to 50. And so uh, that's what we started this week off with. Um, but as we look to tomorrow's CPI numbers, uh, because we have those numbers, uh, as well as the report coming out for the pound with their employment change and their claimant count change numbers. Um, so with both of those, uh, we uh, definitely will end up seeing a uh, move here uh, with the dollar. So the dollar has uh, the potential to break to the upside. And then with the strength of making it through this trend line, uh, it can then break through that minor quarter level. Um, and so the force and the strength of which it can break here uh, could cause for the price to continue uh, through the minor quarter level as well. And so uh, we also see for the UC idea uh, with this one, this one is down for the week uh, because of the fact that the dollar has not moved for this week. Uh, but then also this one um, has uh, also being rejected at last week's open. So uh, last week's open and this week's open aren't too far apart. Um, you can see uh, these two weekly opens here, not too much separation at all. And so the move would need to be a substantial move in order to gain the momentum of not only this week, but also last week's and then make it above the trend line as well. And so right now, because price is underneath the trend line, the trend line is going to be resistance. Price gets above the trend line. The trend line will be support for it. We see for the GU idea, the GU idea does have this uh, support. We talked about this one today uh, in being above that 126 level, but then also making these higher lows, consistent higher lows hanging out right at weekly open. Uh, this is all very bullish for the pound going into uh, the news tomorrow, um, as well as uh, kind of seeing what we what it is that we're going to be expecting for the dollar itself. And so, again, for the dollars uh, news, again, for the EU idea, this one is underneath weekly open, uh, but it does have the support here as far as higher low, higher low. Um, and so we'll continue to watch this one and see how this one uh, takes place and uh, what transpires for the EU idea. For the AU idea, uh, we do, uh, again, see these higher lows uh, forming, but we could also have price drop back down. So uh, the case or the thesis behind price dropping back down would be a bullish dollar. So that'd be a bullish dollar move that would cause for this to come back down to this trend line where it also has uh, its major wild card support as well. So we'll see kind of how this one shapes up. This one also looks good because of the fact that it has made it above that uh, minor uh, wild card area. Uh, and uh, that's after having it as resistance. And now it's closing above it. So resistance for all of this time. So wicking uh, the entire time and now making it above it and closing above it. Um, so that's what we see for the AU idea. That area was an important area. And then now for the NU idea, again, continuing these uh, higher lows. So you have lows here, higher lows, as well as higher lows here. Uh, having this uh, 61 to 50 area secured. Um, so uh, price could bounce from this area and make it back up to weekly open off of bearish dollar news. Um, and uh, we'll look at uh, our GJ idea. So for the GJ idea, again, this one uh, came uh, and it bounced through and it came through this trend line, came back down to test this trend line. So now it has the support not only of this trend line, but it also has the support uh, of weekly open. So it has weekly open and this trend line as support underneath it. And because of the fact that um, it has indeed come uh, to this area, uh, this is now uh, where this uh, point of interest uh, turns to and going into tomorrow's news and seeing how the uh, pound is going to react to the news that comes out. And last but not least, we have the UJ idea. So for the UJ idea, we have this one again back above this trend line. 
So it will continue to, need to hold this area. So very similar to the GJ idea. So the UJ idea right now is very similar to the uh, GJ idea um, where uh, we get uh, we got a bullish break of this trend line, uh, which is right around where weekly open is. So we'll look to see if this can continue to hold this area. If it can, and this price will continue up. The next level will be 149.50 as far as for price to make it to. And then after that, if it's able to gain momentum there, then we'll, we'll, we will be looking up above that uh, to see where price can make it at that point so that's what we're looking for for tomorrow with the pound news as well as the u.s dollar news and we will continue to keep you guys updated and posted as it pertains to the trade ideas that uh, form as it pertains to the ideas that we are watching